I said salute to the untouchable True School Sports Empire. <laughs> That's right, over the untouchable. Not only the South Florida boxing scene, but the worldwide boxing scene. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. All right, Ben and Taylor here at True School Sports. I'm with Stacy McKinley. Stacy, you know, very disappointing day today. Adrian Broner didn't show up to the press conference. What do you make of it? Because you're, you're in there in the gym with Adrian Broner every day as the assistant trainer. So how, what, do you, what do you make of all this? Well, yeah, I'm in the gym with him every day as an assistant trainer. Uh, I don't know what the problem is, and I don't know if it is a problem, but he could make it become a problem. But he's in good shape. He's in good spirit. He's going to the fight tonight. And uh, we sit here and we waited on him, and uh, we haven't gotten the word yet. But I'm sure that he's going to be okay. And uh, if he didn't show the press conference, he will be there for June the 9th for the fight. Without a doubt, he's in good shape and good spirits and ready to go. Okay. Uh, do you think coming to Vegas was a, was the best thing for him? Because, you know, he's been he's been there in South Florida on lockdown, just going to the gym and being disciplined. Do you think it was beneficial for him to come out here? Well, I think it's beneficial in a lot of ways because this press conference basically set up for him. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, he and uh, Javante Davis are good friends. And uh, for him to get around to fight people, that's fine, you know. I mean, I, I a lot of times we say, well, if you stay in camp, don't go. But it's only a three-day trip. So, you know, he's going to be okay. We'll be ready to fight on June the 9th, without a doubt. He's in excellent condition. Okay. Have you seen any tape on his opponent, uh, Hutchinson? Yeah, I saw some tape. Um, I studied a couple of tapes on Hutchinson. He has a good record. He's from Pennsylvania. He has a good left hook. He's very a very strong kid. And uh, the head trainer, Kevin Cunningham, has been working on the strategy and tech and strategy how to win this fight, how to fight this fight. So he's been out there doing his hard work, and I've been assisting him in the, in the training with uh, Adrian Broner, and we're going to be ready. But I, I've seen this. A, he's a good opponent. He's a good opponent, and he's a very serious man. Yeah, he said uh, when I interviewed him that he's a, he, he's a very aggressive fighter. Uh, is, is that what he is? Like yeah, he comes he comes forward. He's come forward. You know, most Pennsylvania fighters are aggressive, but he come forward. He throws good left hook. He's strong. He's in condition. He's you know he's a serious minded guy. He's an attorney. So it's a lot of good things about him. And and uh, but Adrian is ready. Adrian is is, is is got speed, power, and everything. In excellent condition. Okay. If Broner uh, does show up to the fight, hopefully he does. Um, and he beats Hutchinson. What, what do you? What fights would you guys be looking at next? Well, I can't. I can't say. I mean, that's up to the promoter, Don yeah. King. I'm sure that Don has something in mind uh, after the fight for Bruno. But I, it's something I, you know, I can't predict what he's going to do. But you know, I'm sure he'll be ready. Don has something for him. Have you spoke to Don at all since all this happened with uh, him not showing up to the press conference? No, I haven't, I haven't spoke with Don. I'm sure that uh, Tony Gonzalez has spoke with him. You know, I was just here as a support assistant trainer, support, and I haven't talked with Don about it. Okay. For the people that are going to watch this and be kind of negative towards AB, what, what could you say about him from when you guys were actually in the gym? Like, how has that been? Well, you know, a lot of people say a lot of negative things about him, but as a trainer, we look at what's happened, the production in the gym. And you can say what you want to say. If you produce him in the gym, he can, it, all the other things that's being said outside of the gym doesn't matter. Okay. All right, Stacey. Well, uh, any, any final message you want to give about this whole thing? Get your tickets ready because June the 9th, we will be in Miami, Florida. All right, Stacey McKinley, one of the best trainers in the world. Thank you for talking to True School Sports. Thank you, Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.